Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. And in today's episode, we'll be creating these fantastic wood and epoxy Easter theme key rings. Check out the video. Okay, so what we're gonna be using for this project. Um, if you've got some offcuts, I do, quite a lot of them actually. Um, so I've got some uh, oak, I've got some ash, I've got some uh, pieces of sepili as well. So that's the offcuts I'm going to be using. And obviously some stencils. All these will be available for free on my website. So you can head to my website, I'm going to leave the link down below and download them and use them at your leisure. So a fun little project here guys. So let's start. For this project I'm going to be using scroll saw to cut out the patterns. So the best method I've found to put the stencils onto wood without the hassle of trying to take off the paper later on is actually wrap the wood, the piece of wood, in a clear salad tape as you can see I'm doing that now. And then use a spray adhesive onto the tape and stick the stencils on. This will help with two things. Uh, later on it's far much easier to remove uh, the salad tape from the wood and actually when using a scroll saw it, it lubricates the blade and you've got far less tear out. So a win-win situation guys. And now it's time to drill some pilot holes um, for the scroll saw blade. And now it's time to cut out the patterns on the scroll saw. Now it's time just to clean them up a little bit um, and then we'll be ready to start pouring some epoxy. So the first thing we need to do, we need to prepare the uh, wooden eggs for casting with resin. I'm going to be using, as you can see, a clear salad tape at the bottom and um, securing the sides as well, just to make sure there's no leaks.
and there you go guys the epoxy is now hard as a rock um, I managed to get the um, the salad tape off them it was quite easy and now it's time to do a bit of sanding first of all as you can see I'm gonna be using my uh, belt sander and after that we'll go to some finer grits the next step we need to make some holes uh, for the key rings and now it's time for a bit of sanding I'm gonna start with grid 150 and uh, go right up to 1000 after that we're gonna continue with some Yorkshire grit the brown paste the original one and after that we're gonna be using the micro fine the white paste and in the end we're just gonna go into the buffing compounds we're gonna go through uh, four of them to achieve that fantastic glossy look so we went through the boring part of all the sanding and um, the key rings are now basically ready for buffing out and this is my system i'm using four compounds a heavy cut medium cut finish and super finish to achieve a really nice fantastic glossy look on the epoxy and the wood And there you go guys quite a nice project for today um, you know it's uh, tons of fun especially with your kids and uh, you know it can act as a keyring obviously you can use it just uh, as a for your egg hunt for your kids to actually try to find them obviously you, you can you know use the stencils to make them a lot larger and do you know your imagination is absolutely the limit here so um i hope you enjoyed this video i'm just going to show you um all of them in a bit of a close-up so you can have a better look how they came out and uh, what we managed to achieve so check them all out And the last two where I actually use clear epoxy plus the um, alcohol inks I actually have to consider them as a file out of um, the wood that I've used for it was basically too thin for it and I didn't manage to sand it correctly 
um, so there are imperfections in them. They still got a cool look, but uh, definitely a lot of imperfections that next time I just need to make them a little bit thicker so I can sand it correctly to get rid of all the sanding imperfections, but still check them out. So there you go guys um, as a reminder obviously the stencils for these will be available on my website absolutely for free um, I'm gonna leave a link down below so just go and check it out and download it as uh, as your own leisure but if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber yet and I hope to see you on my next video and my next woodworking adventure till then take care